What is going on guys, DBG here. Today we're going to be talking about all of the All-Star reward cards. This is All-Star reward 2. Okay, it's a weird one. Is there any like just set for them? All-Star reward? Okay, yeah, this is all of them. Except for there are two cards missing, which is like Jamal Murray and... Okay, this is really weird. Let's just go like at it like this. So... We have got five rubies. We have five rubies. So we got um, Trey Burke. We got Daquan Cook. Why did Trey Burke win? I know Daquan Cook won a three-point contest. Nate won three dunk contests. Rick Barry is Rick Barry. Uh, Bogdan won. Um, he won rookie, like the rookie challenge MVP one years. So Rick Barry. Like, these guys don't go up in badges. Surely they will. Surely they will. According to Kenny Mack as well, not one of these guys right now have gone up in tears. So surely they'll go. He's a, he's a trash can. I'm sorry. He's a genuine trash He's an actual trash can. 78 speed. He is a trash can. Oh, my God. He is a trash can. Wow, he sucks. Nate Robinson. I mean, if these Evo, please tell me, 2K, you're going to start updating badges on these Evos. Please tell me you're updating badges. Because if you're not updating badges and these Evos, then these Evos don't do anything. Like, this card goes plus 34 stats and 20 of the range draw fell. <laughs> like, what are we doing here? What are we doing here, lads? Please, like, I, I doubt it. I doubt it, 2K. 2K, I, I'm going to give you guys... I'm going to give you guys the benefit of the doubt that you're changing the badges. I'm going... I'm Please, I'm going to give you guys the benefit of the doubt. Because, again, it seems like the reason the badges aren't changing is because, as Kenny Mack has said, not one of these guys changes... Well, not one of these guys changes tears. Dame on normal, shifty dribble style, Scotty behind the back. I mean, he could be fun to dunk on people with. He actually could be fun to dunk on people with, but that's about it. Daquan Cook, he was chick last year. Base four on quick. Wow, that's the Devin Booker release. I mean, he's a really good ruby. Don't get me wrong, this is a really good ruby. What is up with you giving people almost all of their upgrades in draw fell? I'm sorry, like, come on. That's two players in a row. More than, like, like they have a plus... Like two thirds of their upgrades have been in draw fell. That's two in a row. Freaking draw fell. He's not. He's actually gonna be really good. Like Daquan Cook is gonna be really good. Daquan is genuinely gonna be really good for Ruby. He is really good Ruby. But draw fell. What's what's what do you guys reckon? He goes. Does he go up ten or more in draw fell? Does he go up 10 or more in draw fell? I'm currently live on Twitch, so if you're wondering who I'm talking to. Lads, in, in the comment section, more or less than 10 in draw fell. Does he go up more or less? 10 plus. 10 draw fell. He doesn't go up in draw fell! He goes up in vertical and he's 6 foot tall, though. Uh, he has Trey Burke on quick, quick triple style. He can actually be kind of cool. He's, um... Pass X, you really. Um, he's not bad. With or without Evo, he's not actually bad. Um, like with his release, his dribbling, he actually he, he's not going to play a lick of defense. But as far as rubies go, he's the best shot creating ruby point guard. He's like a ruby Darius Garland. He's legitimately going to play like a ruby Darius Garland. He's not bad at all for a ruby. He's really not bad. Um, Bogdan plus five steal. Plus two, three. Bogdan actually gets better, surprisingly enough. Bogdan actually gets better. And he gets circus threes. He's the first player to get a get a badge update as well. Um I don't know what base six is, but it's on quick. He's not terrible either. These guys are actually good rubies. Like I'm I'm a little bit disappointed at like oh the lack of upgrades. These are actually good rubies. Like all these guys are actually pretty good rubies. Yeah, I'm honestly not... I'm not low on this. These are all, like... 
Rick Barry was a garbage man. Nate Robbins is Nate Robbins, but Cook, Burke, and Bogdan are all good rubies. They're all genuinely good rubies. And surely one of these guys are good. Like Dale, oh no, Dale else has a pink diamond, so he's gonna be ass. Basically, like any card with a higher tier card, you know, is gonna be ass. And that's the bad thing. Um, really, no bad, no badge upgrades for AD. Plus ten. I'll take the plus ten. Seventy-two speed. What? What? Holy smokes, this guy sucks. He's so garbage. Oh my god. He's so garbage. Terrence Ross, 89 speed, 89 acceleration, 93 three ball. He get he doesn't get really. He doesn't get range. Still gets. I mean, plus five steal, plus six draw fell, I guess. Again, one third being draw fell. Uh, he gets clowns. He can't really play defense. He's not terrible. Play 70 on normal is a bit, a bit bad. Thank you for the sub. Quick dribble style. He's not bad. Honestly, Terrence Ross is not bad. He's not bad at all. Let me get Dale Ellis. 84 speed, 84 salary, 95 three ball. What? This is like day one defense. I get it. Dale Ellis pink diamond card was a day one card, but come on. Why is he so garbage? Why is he 76 lot of wings for a guard? He can dribble and shoot. He's going to be easy to Evo. He's going to be easy to Evo, I guess. That's one thing. You're just never going to ever use him. Plus six, you're off L there. Markman is going to have like... Markman's at 80 speed, though. 80 speed, 92 three ball. I know his release is iffy. 82 block, really good rebound. Markman is good. Now, Markman is good. They sure... If they update the badges, things will help. But like, Markman is genuinely good. 83 ball handle. I know he's a Sesha at 16 or Sesha at 18, but I don't even mind it that much. Markin is like a way better Vucevic. Markin is like a way, way better Vucevic. He's, he's gotten Tim Interceptor, he's gotten Timidate, he's got Rebound Chaser, he's got Rim, he's got Worm. Markin's genuinely good. Like, if you're just starting in the game and you're like doing these challenges, Markin's genuinely a good player. And then last up is Wally Zerbiak. Um, base 18, or base 16, which is, uh, I don't mind, it's not good. And kind of dunk. Defense is really solid. Like, really, really solid defense. Got half sniper, got range, no chef. I mean, he's fine. He's fine, he'll do a job. So, like, at these amateurs, like, Davis, Terran, Davis and Dale Ellis are going to absolutely suck. Um, Terrence Ross is going to be okay, I guess. And then for four Amethyst, Markin and Wally are good cards. Everyone complained in my chat right now about these cards not being top 10 in their position. Yeah, these are low overall cards in a free grind. Of course, they're not top 10 in their position. Jesus Christ, some people in my Twitch chat are genuinely dumb. And then we get Des Mace. Des Mace and his potential. Elton Brown's going to stink because he always sucks. And Craig Hodge is a bum release and Beverly 6 1. Problem is, Billups is Billups release, which is useless. That automatically just makes Billups useless. Like, Billups stats wise is fantastic. Billups stats wise is fantastic. Bads wise, he's, he's good. No limitless spot up. And, like, he can't dunk and he's got a bum release. Like, he's like he's going to play like Ace and Kid. He's honestly going to play like Ace and Kid. That's all I'm going to say. He's going to play like Ace and Kid. This is not Chauncey Billups from two years ago. This is not the like 2K20 Chauncey Billups. Um, this is this is closer to Icing Kid. Okay, and we got Des Mason, 94 speed, 94 acceleration. Okay, three ball. Check defensive badges. Clemson Interceptor. Okay, I would like to see him get Intimidator, but it's not the end of the world. Pretty okay lateral. Pretty okay block. 6-7. Um... 
Base 49 on quick, base dribble style. So again, he is like, the guy is like a 6'7 version of OJ Mayo. And I think he's going to be really solid. He's really, really solid. He's not the best card in the world. But like, again, if you are, if you are going for uh, these cards for grind and you want to use a J.R. Smith type player, Des Mace is actually pretty good. Elton Brown, he's going to be a garbage man. I mean, he gets a, he he's the only one who actually gets stats to make him better as an Evo though. Corner specialist, no limitless spot up, quick first step. Problem with Elton Brand is he got set shot 13, which is bad. Which is really bad, and he can't move. Forget the 86 ball handle, the guy's got a big dribble stop. He literally cannot move. So yeah, Elton Brand is not very good. Elton Brand is not very good. 92 or 89 three pointer. Not Oh my god! Oh my god! He gets 12 total stats and 10 of them are in draw fail. He gets 10 total upgrade or 12 total upgrade stats and 10 of them are in draw fail. And his badges he gets are brilliant. In fairness, floor general, he does get badges. He does get badges. I just saw that. He gets quick chain hyperdrive. He actually gets badges. So, look, it is like that is actually a good thing. But, <laughs> oh, of course. Of course. But he gets a clams man as pickpocket. Doesn't even get an acceptor. Come on. Base 36 on normal. He's going to be a trash can. I'm sorry. He's going to be a trash can. An absolute trash can. Craig Hodges. At least he gets his like limitless. 89 steel. Thirty-six. How are you meant to be able to get a shot off with thirty-six? So Diamonds. Des Mason good. Everyone else, trash can. Um Pat it. Nance, Pierce, oh my god, Pierce. Jamal, out of the bayou. Okay, 80, you know what, I'll take Pettit. Oh my god, what have they done to Pettit's defense? Oh my god, Pettit sucks. Like, is Pettit still going to be chick? Pettit's still going to be absolutely chick, by the way. That session of 14 is so good. What the hell did they do to Pettit's defense? He doesn't even have good int. What? Why is he barely better? Why is he literally outside of speed? Barely. He's literally up to his speed in his favorite defense. Like, why is his defense almost identical in the interior? And why is his ball handle the same? Why is his driving dunk the same? Why is his thing all the same? To his day one card. What are we doing, 2K? Why, why are cards comparable to cards we had on... He's an upgrade from a day one card. Why is he almost the same as his day one card? We are literally in... We're, we're about to go into March. Larry Nance. 84 three ball. Nine speed, nine acceleration. Holy crap, his defense is good. 98 driving dunk. Really, really good. Half an acceptor. Clamps. Now this is a card. Problem is, is that he doesn't get catch and shoot. Base 21 is not a bad release. Fundamental dribble style. Problem is he doesn't get catch and shoot, but he has an 84 three-pointer, so he's good. Like he's at, like this card's insane. This card's absolutely insane, lads. I'm sorry, this card's absolutely incredible. This card is like freaking thorough. This is thorough. And he actually gets way better Devo, because without Devo, he doesn't he can't really handle the ball. And then once he gets Devo, he can. This is freaking thorough. Fundamental dribble style. Oh hell yeah. Oh hell yeah. This guy is this guy is it. This guy is it, lads. He is him. Yeah, Larry Nance is him. He's so freaking good. And we got Paul Pierce. Did they just make him the same as the other one? Wow. 
The exact same as a card. Actually, he gets four extra halves. Where are the halves? Dead Eye's good. Fearless Space Creator. Volume. He's a slightly better than the card that came out in October. But Paul Pierce is Paul Pierce. Paul Pierce is, is, is a bum. In 2K, Paul Pierce is always a bum. Um, Jamal. Okay, he gets four extra golds. Limitless Takeoff is a good badge. Menace Pickpocket. Bullshit. Okay, Jamal gets better. 94 three ball, 94 speed. Gets a 90 driving dog, 92 lateral. 92 speed of ball. 6 4, 6 7 wingspan. Base 80 and normal's fine. Quick dribble stop. Man, Jamal's him as well. Jamal's him. These pink diamonds are actually good. Jamal genuinely is him. Jamal's really good. Again, like, if you are someone that has a Lonzo or you're someone who has a Harden, is Jamal as good as those guys? No. But I mean, like, if you are someone who doesn't, Jamal's so freaking good. Jesus, complain about 60 interior. 60 interior is fine. Like, Jamal, like, these pink diamonds outside of Pettit stinks. Larry Nance is elite. Jamal's very good. Pierce is a garbage man. Let's see Bam out of the Bayou first. People are saying Kyrie Irving has ended up in the reward section. I mean, he could well be. No, he's not. He's not a reward. Um. Okay, so we're going to go for the Opals next. I'm going to hop off. I'm going to hop off stream right after this. I'm really not feeling well. So I will see if I come on later, but I really am not feeling well. So right, we're going to look at Bam out of the bio first. 85 three ball, really good release. Hoff interceptor. Bam's so good as well. What are you talking about? Is what are you talking about? People are saying, oh, these cards are all bums. Yeah, the lower tier guys, they're collector fodder to get to these guys. These guys are incredible. Bam's got a really good release as well in base 62. He's not going to dribble, but like Bam's like Josh Smith. Bam is genuinely like Josh Smith 2.0. Bam is so solid. Bam is so, so solid. You're not going to be able to dribble with him, but he's so good, man. Bam is so freaking good. Now we're on to Dominique. 95 speed, 95 acceleration, 94 mid. 89 three ball. <coughs> 94 shot close, 98 driving dunk. 94 lateral. 92 steal. He's got unstrippable. Difficult shots. Half quick for a step. Clamps. Problem is, fun, well, fundamental's not bad, but he's got base 8. Thank you, X Boss Hog, for the sub. Really appreciate it. Every, and Pete, like, oh my god. Like, you guys are seeing like you guys seen this on a YouTube video. The amount there are brain dead people in my chat saying, oh my god, Bam's not even better than Maurice Lucas. Like, maybe not. I think he is. Maybe he's not. But at the same time, Maurice Lucas is an RNG card that not most people did not get. We were not lucky enough to get. Whereas Bam is a free card who is arguably better. Like, oh my god, like I wish I had my chat box up so you guys on the YouTube video could see some of the actual brain dead stuff that is being put out in my chat. Um Dominique's good. The pro if you if you can get used, if you can get used to base eight, um, Dominique is a good is a radio card. If you can't get used to base eight, which I don't think I will be able to, Dominique's not the greatest, but he's okay. Larry, I mean his his speed's not the greatest, but again, like everything else other than that, Larry seems to be having have re have on point to be honest. Um, I have compared the same card to the same card. Like, Larry's not going to ever miss. Like, we can't forget, Larry's not going to miss. The problem is his speed is not great. He is a spot of shooter. He's a really good defender, by the way. Like, I'm sorry. Like, Hoff Interceptor, Menace, Pickpocket, Hustler, Clamps, with speed that you're probably going to want to give him a speed and acceleration shoot. Look, you probably are. I'm going to be honest. You're probably going to want to give the guy a speed shoot. But, um, he's at 92 lateral, 92 steel, block. Some of the best buys in the game. You're gonna to want to give him quick first step. Actually, you know what? If he's not gonna, he's not gonna move. Don't you don't even need to give him quick first step. Larry's very good. He's not elite elite. He's very good. Larry, if you do not need Larry to create, Larry is very very good. But he's not gonna create it off you. Then we got Blake, the last player. 85 speed, 84 acceleration, 89 three ball, 78 lat. Is he just the same as pink times? He literally is the same as Pink Diamond. Really? He's just the same as Pink Diamond. Well, 
What's the difference? Okay, he has half quick free step. And half downhill. And he gets interceptor, I guess. Like, his defense, the exact... I mean, Larry's by far the best of these three. Opals, by the way. Larry's by far the best. Blake's the final award. Larry's way, way better. So, lads, for these cards, rubies. Honestly, if you're going all the way, get... You might as well go all the way just if you're doing it, but... In terms of card, the card, specific cards being worth it if you're going for specific ones. I know you have to go Ruby, Amethyst, Diamond, Pink, Diamond, so... It's a little bit of a uh, annoying one for me to rank them, but Daquan Cook's good, Burke's good, Bogdanovich is good, um, Markin's good, Zerbiak's okay, Mason's good, um, Nance, Murray, and Adebayo are good, and then Larry, Dominique are okay. Uh, Larry's good, Dominique's okay, and Blake, honestly, Blake's good. He's just not that much better than Pink Diamond. So anyway, yeah, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.